says that YouTube does not have a picture. Fun stuff. Facebook does, though. Uh, I did do a test of this, all of this, earlier this day. And if, it, if, this, is, if this is an issue, I'm going to lose my mind. Excuse me. I'm going to lose it. What do I got? What do I got? What do I got? Okay, there we go. We're good. We got a picture on We're good. Facebook. Facebook, you're on Facebook right yeah. now? What's up with YouTube? All right. Uh, Facebook or YouTube is struggling right now. So if you're on YouTube, um, can you hear us on YouTube? Um, and can you? But you cannot see us. I don't know what the deal is with that at all. But YouTube that's struggle. lame. <laughs> but Facebook is working. My YouTube isn't loading. I don't know if anybody else's YouTube is not loading, but my YouTube is not loading. Um, but I don't know. I don't know the answers to yeah. no sound or picture. Wheel of death is just not loading. Okay. Uh, if you are on YouTube, which to Facebook? What a 
chat out and say, YouTube worked earlier. And now it's not. What's up, YouTube? What's going YouTube, on? YouTube, why you treat me like this? Huh? Why you treat me like this? Come at me. What's the... I got... Yes, correct, sir. I don't understand why YouTube is doing this to me. And now I have to cor the call the corporate office. Second week in a row. YouTube... You're what? now no longer in my good graces. Uh, that one's actually producer Joe Mike. Okay. So, sadly, sir, yeah. I have to put the foot down. <laughs> I know. That's really not ideal, but uh, producer Joe is going to take us through a gauntlet of things, really, Perfect. as far as videos are concerned yeah, for excited. the evening. I've heard there's a lot of high energy in it. A lot of high energy. I'm excited. A lot of high energy. First off, uh, welcome to episode number 62. <laughs> welcome to Quarantinis, uh, where he makes them. And he drinks them. That's right. And who saw the, the short little Facebook uh, live that we did last week? Um, Thanks, B. And also, and also... Uh, if you did, uh, the, you got to meet, uh, our father. Oh, yeah. Our father and our other brother, the one that sits right here. And the and one and only Nana. And the world famous <laughs> Nana. She's world famous now. She has to be. Yep. Um, we are deciding that we're going to make the noise that she made when she walked onto screen a ringtone. For uh, everyone's phones. So it's just going to be. Because <laughs> that's all that she did. Um, and then also. Look at that. Check out that. Check this out. Look at how good this looks. Steve, Holy Steve cow. Said he talked to the YouTube president. And he said he doesn't like the slapping a mint sign. Oh. <laughs> the YouTube president is telling us. That he does not like the slap the mint sign. He's paying attention to YouTube that closely that yeah, he perfect. saw the live stream like, go and he was canceled. like, canceled. Not those guys. <laughs> Not those guys at all. Um, that's a good question. Uh, Brian Wilson, lead singer of the Beach Boys, is wondering where the recap is for the video from last week. It's been a crazy two weeks. That's a good transition. It's a, it's a crazy two weeks. And, you know, we're going to start with – what's up, Amelia? Um, we're going to start with – it, it can be construed as a, a low note, yeah, which it could be. But um, I did, I did want to mention where we've been and what what's been going on in our world over the last two weeks because we slowed down significantly on posting on social. Um, the live stream two weeks ago had just a cluster of oh, yeah. issues, and then uh, we couldn't go live on mobile on YouTube while we we're in Phoenix seeing our family, and we rushed the job onto Facebook because I didn't know I couldn't do that. <laughs> you learned. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody knows that comedy skit? Uh, I one. sure do. I sure do. <laughs> um, so anyways, it's been a rough couple of two weeks. And the main reason is, and I don't want to bring it down. We're going to bring it down just for a little bit because we need to share it. Yep. Our sweet dog, my sweet dog, Miss Mabel. Uh, passed away two weeks ago, uh, Saturday, and uh, we just had a hard time with it. Yeah, I I had a lot of tears, cried some some uh, some good good tears, had some good cries, but uh, you know we we miss her, and she's she was such a good sweet girl, and so I just said, you know what, I'm gonna take a little, take it slow. Yeah, we take it slow and take care of this, you know, because whoa, yeah. holy cow, it's um. It was it was hard. It was a hard loss. So um, in that vein, I wanted to share with you guys some fun videos of Sweet Mabel. And uh, I know she's not your dog, but she was our dog, and she was my dog. And so you don't get control over this button. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the long and the short of it. So uh, I've got just two short videos, and then uh, and then we'll move. On. Start? Yeah. 
Life's hard, huh? That was Mabel realizing that she wasn't going to get her way, so she turned away from me. And uh, this is uh, another short video of Mabel getting in trouble because she got into the Doritos. Did you do this? Did you eat the Doritos? Mabel. What's on your chin? Is that Dorito dust? Right there? Did you do this? Did you eat these? Come here. Come here. Mabel, come. Oh my. Did you do this? You better lay down. Sweet Mabel right there. She uh, she doesn't know how to get away with anything. She, the guilt on her face just showed up instantly every time. Is that, uh, Producer Joe, does, does Gary does Gary feel the, the guilt and the shame that Mabel obviously felt? Gary, who the audience does know Gary. Gary does. Yeah, yeah he feels no guilt good. or shame. He would have attacked that Dorita's bag if he waited <laughs> in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, anyways, everybody, um, so uh, all I wanted to do was just share that with you and uh, and show you, like, just my sweet Mabel. And uh, we were, Blake and I got a little whiskey here. We got a little cheers for Mabes. She was the goodest girl. Bless. Cheers to you and yours. Hold your pet a little bit closer tonight yep. as you uh, remember them. So thank you for that. <laughs> All right. I did kind of want to um, uh, move straight to one of your videos, Joe, just because it's a fun transition. The first one, the very first one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you mind if I show that Go one? Go for it, yeah. Do you have a, a setup before this? Uh, I think it's a great transition. I don't think it needs a setup. Okay, yeah. Here's, here's the very first uh, video from Producer Joe this week. Want to go down? Can you go downstairs? <laughs> There's no explanation as to why that dog chose to launch itself down the stairs. <laughs> Stops in the middle of the stairs. Oh my gosh, like, wait, wait, this is a terrible idea. I can do this better. <laughs> he sized it up. <laughs> He's like, I, I got this. Yeah. 14 steps, I got it. He counted. He's like, no, I definitely got this. <laughs> And there's just no warning. He just. <laughs> yeah, it was like he knew he could fly. <laughs> like he knew he could fly. Oh my gosh, that killed me. All right, everybody. So tonight, producer Joe is in the house, and we have plenty more videos to go through. But before we do that, we need to make a cocktail. Let's make a cocktail. Please, brother. Uh, so this cocktail is called the Sawyer. Uh, just Sawyer, not the Sawyer. Um, we are officially in bitter month which I'm super pumped about. Bitters um, are seasoning to cocktail, just like the seasoning of foods. Um, you know what? You've never said that before, and that is perfect. Yeah, right? Yes. That makes sense. I heard it. It's I was the like, salt and pepper of your cocktail. Exactly. It's Why have I not thought of that before? Um, I don't know. It's a great mentality. Anytime you're working with bitters at home, it's literally seasoning for your cocktails. And um, so this cocktail actually has a buttload of bitters um yes it does it has 28 dashes of bitters uh so it's a heavy-handed bitter cocktail but um if you guys ever had a negroni or made a negroni with us very very similar um yes, it is. a little a little more tart uh obviously a little more bitter because we're using a lot of bitters um, a whole lot there's a lot of uh, different aromatics and uh perfumeness to it Ooh. It's smelly in it's a good way it. yeah I'm going to make two different versions in here. He had a great idea before we started um, to add an egg to the cocktail. So I want to make the original version, and then I'm going to make the egg to the cocktail. And he pointed out a good point. 
If you guys are making out this uh, home and it's too bitter for you, definitely throw an egg in there. It will calm and subtle that bitterness down and actually smooth out that. I'm so smart. Cocktail. You're, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so this is a shaking cocktail, so you need your shaking tins. Um, are we standing up? Um, yeah, I would like to. I'm going to shake some cocktails. Let's raise the table. <laughs> Hold on. This isn't a fast process. I should. We should retrofit a drill onto this so we can just go. We need a motor and a button. We should. Have, we should have spent the extra cash. This is ghetto. Right. We'll work it. We need to actually get the drill. That. That's smart, right? That's our motor. Yeah. Oh, hey there! Holy cow! Welcome Look to at that. A high, a high point. I hope this table keeps going up because we need some more head. Nope, that's it. That's, it. All, that's right. all you got. All right, cool. Um, uh, tools that you'll need. You need your shaking tin, uh, your jigger, um, julep strainer. Nope, Hawthorne strainer, mesh strainer, and uh, our glassware is going to be a coupe glass. You can use other glassware if you want to, but that's all right. Quick question from the audience. Uh, Steve Andrews is asking, can we use scrambled eggs? If you want to. If you like if, it chunky. If you like that texture, by all means, go for it. Yeah. Um, maybe you could throw all of it in a pan at once. And like all of the ingredients for the cocktail? Maybe. And just see what happens? Yeah. That, that could work. Then you could just eat breakfast. You could like do, you, you do, do whole egg. Yeah. Shell and all. Right into the shaker tent. <laughs> just get in there. <laughs> you like to live dangerously. <laughs> Um, to start us off, our, our, we are going to um, start with our bitters. Um, so, Angostura bitters is our first style of bitters. Oh man! Come on, camera two. I feel like we do that every day. Okay. Angostura bitters are their first style bitters. You guys are familiar with this one. Uh, it's aromatic standard bitters. You can find them anywhere. Um, we're going to do 14 dashes what? per one cocktail. Did you say 14? 14. That's crazy. Uh, 14 dashes per one cocktail. I got several, so I'm going to add a little bit more, but I'm going to start now. <laughs> Blake, Blake just stopped. He just, <laughs> I'm going to start now. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, uh, from Devin in the audience, fried cocktail. Put all the ingredients into a pan, fry it up with an egg, see how it tastes. Somebody tell me. Oh, YouTube is now working. Uh, Sean Petit Andrews lets us know that YouTube is now working. So if you would like to be there, you can be there. Thanks, Ma. Uh, but I don't know why it wasn't. It was just taking a while. Or I don't know. Hey, uh, Steve Andrews, could you get a hold of the CEO of YouTube like you did earlier? Yeah. That'd be great. Um, President. That's for the second bitters we are using, um, using orange bitters. Focus. 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 I got it. Focus. Uh, okay, uh, orange bitters. Um, scrappies, uh, you guys have probably not seen this one yet. This is actually local to Washington. Um, pretty standard bitters, but if you guys have other orange bitters, totally works. And then we're going to be using Peshawn bitters. You guys are familiar. I just have a weird, different bottle. Um, it's got a fancy bottle. I got a fancy bottle. And we're going to do seven dashes per one cocktail of each of them. So seven dashes of orange and seven dashes of Peshawn. Beautiful. And how many cocktails will you be making tonight, dear brother? Um, counting. <laughs> oh, he's counting. He's counting the dashes. Sorry, I, it was the wrong time to ask. <laughs> Five cocktails. Five whole cocktails. Five whole cocktails. Uh, question you. for everybody in the audience: Did you see the YouTube video this week? And did you make the cocktail this week, or did you make the one from last week? We didn't really talk about that. Snowball in hell. A lot of powdered sugar. Real sticky. Yeah. Didn't care for it. I lost my count. My bad. Nope, you're good. Shh. Everybody quiet. Okay, now you can talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, oh, good. Uh, Steve Andrews in the audience is letting us know that he actually did get a hold of the president of uh, YouTube. And he escalated the problem report all the way to the top. He said, you're good now as long as you don't say mouth power. <laughs> Hopefully, because I read that, it doesn't go down again. That's so good. <laughs> clever, uh, here's clever, a good clever. question. Here's a, 
Actual good question. Not that those aren't good questions. <laughs> this is an actual question pertaining to the cocktail. <laughs> uh, is there a substitute for that bitter? Um, uh, which bitter? Yes, that is a good question. What bitter? Because we we moved on. Peshwads, Peshwads, uh, Angostura or, or, or orange or orange. Let us know which one. Um, um, tonight, Michelle's making it tonight with us. Awesome! I love it. And then we're gonna uh, dive right back into our next ingredient. Uh, it's fresh squeezed lime juice, uh, half ounce per one cocktail. Um, and then we'll actually have some simple syrup that normal simple syrup that we're gonna follow follow that with uh, same half ounce per one cocktail. Okay. I'm trying not to talk while you count. No, you're good. That was just during bitters. <laughs> good. Uh, the last one, Peshwats. Uh Let's see. Um, oh, so that's the one that's in the fancy bottle. Um, Peshwats is spelled P-E-C-H-U-A-D-S. I'm pretty sure. P e y p e y p e y c h. Um, it's they're asking a dad. You're asking a substitute. Yeah, for pishwads. Um, it's still a, a basic aromatic bitter, so you could just add more Angostura if you want to. Um, or you could do. I'm trying to think of there's Boone. Oh well. Oh man, did we there's, stop them? No, there's other style of bitters that you're gonna not gonna be familiar. Actually, the ones that you have, ooh, yeah, okay, faja, because I know you have the little bitter kit. Yeah, because we were just in your house. Uh, you could use the Creole bitters, or there's like uh, the one that really doesn't have a name. It's just like the bitter bitter. It's I think it just says bottle of bitters or something on it. Cajun bitters? No, not Cajun. That's what Dad's saying. Not not Cajun. No, don't do Cajun. That you're wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, you could use her Creole or um, I can't remember the name of the other bitters, but start listening. Them. We'll figure it out. So many. Uh, yes, this is an Incasi chaser. I just call it a beer. Oh. All right, so we have our uh, 14 dashes of Angostura bitters, seven dashes of Peshad, seven dashes of our orange bitters, uh, half ounce of lime juice, half ounce of simple syrup. Now we're going to add our spirit. It's two ounces per one cocktail, um, and it's gin. Today we're going to be using um, the Roku uh, Japanese-style gin. Again, we've used this quite often. I, I'm a fan of this gin. It is a to great, be and it's fan. for the price. 28 bucks. 28 bucks is a good gin. I'm for it. Very Quality. Good. Right there. Quality. <clears throat> oh, good. Uh, Michelle says the they're saved by the bitters kit. They're going to be able to finish up yes. the cocktail for the evening. Love it. Uh, I don't think we left it there, Michelle. You guys already had it. I think we just found it in the back of the cupboard. Or something. Didn't uh, you know, Dad, Dad actually was like, oh, uh, I have this too. Got and I it. totally forgot that I actually bought, apparently bought it for, bought you bought that for that him. You bought that for them? Bought that for them. <laughs> We're having a hard time tonight. Um... <laughs> Mm, where am I? So it's okay. Like, <laughs> I'm tired. A massage. I'm tired, man. Um, got all of our ingredients. Let's throw our ice in, give it a wet shake, and then we're going to double strain it into our cocktail glass. I'm going to wait because I have multiple cocktails. I'm going to wait to make the egg one last so it doesn't ruin my I'm tin. I'm patient now. Um, we'll go from there. Uh, if you guys want to garnish the cocktail, garnish it with some uh, lime zest. Um, you can use lemon if you want to. I have it before. Um, but other than that, let's give it a shake. It's time for the Blake Shake, everybody. <laughs> this is the best part of the night. It's the Blake Shake. And uh, if you are having a good time tonight, I'll just leave this here at the bottom of the screen for you. If you're having fun, you can leave us a tip if you want. I know, that's crazy. The Square Cash app. Find us on there. Money Sign Wonder Coffee Bar. And you can send us a tip. Or you can just send Blake only a tip. Or you can send me only a tip. Or you can't send Joe a tip. It's just not a thing you can do. We won't give it to him. It's in the contract. We're going to keep it. He's done. <laughs> All right, we got our ice. So let's give it a shake, guys. I 
I almost got hit by that one. I almost got hit by that one. Close. Yes, we do have a ticker, and I just want to note, I made it match the background. You're welcome. Pink and green. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I tried super hard. Um, oh, Amelia, uh, YouTube isn't working. <laughs> it's New Zealand's Wi-Fi. That's right. We apologize that uh, Wi-Fi in New Zealand is poor and you can't get... I'm just kidding. I'm sure it's fine. I don't know what YouTube's deal is, but glad that you're joining us from New Zealand. Uh, I know we uh, we talked about this already, but what time is it there? I can't remember. Can you it's tell like us, Amelia? Day, it? Is it like tomorrow at 7? Yesterday at 9? What is it? It's something. Tell us. You'll tell us. All right. Let's see this. All right. Uh, so we're going to straighten it out in our coupe class. I almost spilled that. It's so moody. My computer's annoying. It's 3.30 p.m. in New Zealand. 3.30 p.m. in New yeah. Zealand. Tomorrow or today? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. 3.30 so. p.m. tomorrow in New Zealand. Oh, yes. There it is. Right there. So you have this beautiful, it's a gorgeous beautiful color. color. It's really, really, really good looking. Three thirty p.m. on the nineteenth. Time is an illusion, everybody. It is. Uh, just so you know, time is an illusion. Time moves faster the higher up from the Earth's core. Did you know that? No. And the farther closer to the Earth's core, time moves slower, fast, slower. What? <laughs> It, it's time. Time moves at different speeds. Time is an illusion. Yes, we're living. Yes. We're living in a simulation, and the aliens are coming for us. <sighs> oh, how does it feel <laughs> to get that out? I got. I got Thanks, twenty-seven dude. minutes into the live stream before I start talking about aliens. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, I, I've been on an alien kick recently. I mean, since we got here, Blake. Blake told us a thing, and I. I mean, I knew it to be true. But June first, the Pentagon is supposed to give us. A major dump of information. Like for, all this, I think they're classifying as like legally they are they least have releasing to. every because it was something like Trump said that they needed to have information out in six months or something. And June first is the end of that. I'm excited. I want to see me an alien. If they have, do you think there are enough pictures in there? Oh, I'm freaking I, out. I am freaking out. <laughs> Can you imagine if there's a picture in there? Oh, see, he's counting again. Uh, I couldn't. I well, Joe, talk can you to imagine? Me about can you imagine if we actually Joe? Can you imagine yeah. if we actually met? No, I can't. Aliens this year, I can't. like after COVID. <laughs> like we're just gonna continue that. We could all just take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, are I, you a, are you a believer? I yes, but I'm not a believer that they will tell us everything. Oh, I don't give think us so enough either. to go like oh, okay, but yeah. to play yeah. game. Right. But they're not going to give us all the information. No, there's and no the, the president has uh, full access to all information, right? Mm -hmm. But he has to know what to ask for. You right. can't just walk in and say, where's my alien stuff? They won't respond. I mean, I kind of wish that that was yeah. the case, you know? Yeah, he has to know what he's going after in order to get it. Otherwise, the military will not give it away. Where's my alien stuff? Yeah. Here's See, Amel Amelia knows what I'm talking about. Here's the here's the the thing. I, I've seen so many alien TikToks since that live stream. I think you messed with my algorithm. You're welcome. Because <laughs> so have I. Welcome to Alien Talk. <laughs> welcome to Alien Talk. <laughs> uh, time is an illusion. Aliens are real. And what is life? I don't know anymore. All I know is that we're making cocktails and having a good time on the internet. Mm -hmm. That was probably given to us by the aliens. Which is the, the most real place <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that exists, that we're aware of. The internet is the most real place. Yes. Okay, so there's a theory that, we're, that we live in a simulation. Have you heard this theory? I have. Yes. Do you believe that we live in a simulation? I don't know, but I find it to be, it could be a helpful, um, a helpful worldview. Because if Explain this is that. all just a, a game, then we might as well play it the best that we can. Play it and have some fun. Exactly. Because if it is just a game, yep. it is just a simulation. And then what are you worrying about? If we die and we go back up to like some other Another level, the motherboard or, or whatever, and then we maybe get the option to play it again if we want. But that means wiping all your memory and right. starting you won't over. Know you play it again, but maybe if you do well enough, then you might be able to like afford a better version of the game than what you had previously. 
Ooh, I like that thought. <laughs> Amelia is also on the train of we definitely live in a simulation. Brother Blake, is this a simulation? I Do we live know. in the Matrix? I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I would... I don't know. That's a hard question. If you could pick... Would you pick? If I have to pick. If you if you could pick and say yes, I'm cool with living in a, a simulation, or no, I don't want to live in a simulation. This is oh, that's, life. That's a different question. Yeah, um, changing it. I, I don't want to live in simulation. You don't. I don't. Why not? I want a real. I want realness. <laughs> I want reality, oh, real, reality to be like reality. I want it to be real. I want it to. Yeah. But if it feels real, what's the difference? I mean. True. If I pinch no, you, if I totally. hit you, that's real to you. I just <laughs> bless my, my, you, my, my path of life has led me to go. Hey, let's is is <laughs> what's real out there? <laughs> the more you know. Oh my god! You know. uh, Blake says, "Yeah, Blake will come along." Welcome to the Blake Shake. We got two rounds of the Blake Shake today. Did you already do the dry shake? Or the, oh, you did? Oh. Um, Michelle Wilson in the, in the crowd here says, upload the show. Um, do you guys know what that, does anybody in the crowd know? I, what, I do. I've seen that? a couple episodes of it. Oh, it's, it's an actual show. Mm-hmm. It's on Amazon Prime. Oh, really? I yeah. have not heard of this. So when you, when you, in this world, when you die, if you have enough money, you can upload your personality to the um to, to the afterlife and your 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 spirit can live on in a in, different body in a you no know, same body but um so yeah it's kind of interesting like you Is die still an old you body go, you get a new body i i don't know that i would upload to an old body no i don't no 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 you yeah you, you i don't know if it's like a physical body or if it's just like a digital you know okay. simulator all right body. all right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Well, uh, it sounds like I have uh, some show to watch, is what it sounds like to me. Um, look at those cocktails, people. One on, uh, one over here, this guy right here, is the one with the egg. Yep. This one is without. I'm very excited to try the one with, with the egg. I always love an egg in my cocktail, but it does. I have had this one already without the egg. So I'm excited to try that. Uh, and then one other mention here, Steve Andrews says, that alien data dump will be just like Geraldo's hunt for Al Capone's safe. I don't know that I get that one. Oh no, it's that's a cliche <laughs> comparison. Yeah, we've all heard it. We've all heard it. Come up with something new. <laughs> we all have heard the old Geraldo and Al Capone treasure chest metaphor. Uh, Michelle Wilson, on the vein of the uh, upload to show it. It towards the end, or at least at the end of this series, it supports the simulation theory. Got it. Okay, I'm definitely going to be watching that because I am confused. You you said you said a key word for me like theory. I don't know. If, I used to have a roommate that used was studying to go into NASA. Kyle Burns. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh wow. He got a NASA internship, and they're uh, studying string theory, and it's basically string th string theory. I don't know anything about it, but what he told me was it's basically the reality of alternate universes. Yes. It's like, uh, and he, like the facts that he was throwing me at the time, I was like, that's, I'm possible. not ready for this. That's I am not ready for this. All right, let's try this one with the egg. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, that's my jam. That's good. Okay, let me try it without the egg. You do really like this one. It's very Negroni-esque. I actually might like it more without the egg. That falls flat. Yeah, you're totally it's right. Resonant. I think if you, I think the profile you might be looking for. If I threw the whole egg in there with the yolk, butter it, it up, up, butter it, butter it up. Anyway. Um, oh, we have a question for Producer Joe. Uh, Producer Joe, did you watch it? It sucked me in for hours and there was nothing. I, I have watched uh, maybe three or four episodes of Upload. 
Um, but I have a anxiety around death, and so that whole show is about true. it. And so I watch a couple, and then I take a breather for a few days. But Got it's it. a it's a comedy show. Is it, is Upload it, is a comedy. Yeah, yeah, okay. it, it com comedy, a little bit of drama in there, it, you know. But it's definitely humorous. Um, so you, I think most people like selfless? it. No. Yes. I, I just watched that like in the last two weeks. I've been it's, watching a lot of movies. Weirdly enough, with Ryan Reynolds, but it, I think it's on the same premise, right? Yeah, it is. It's where like if you're at a point like you want to transfer your mental state into another body, they can do that. Yes, if you're super rich. Yeah. But it was just like yeah. Well, there's one episode. I think it's only like the second one, true. maybe in the first. But uh, there's there's like a super wealthy guy, a billionaire, who is willing to try to have his upload get downloaded back into his body so that he comes back to life in, on earth oh so they're able to upload to this server where you live in like you know a retirement community um and then this billionaire risked it by trying to download himself back into his old body and it worked he was alive and awake and looked around and then his head exploded after like oh. 10 seconds so it didn't work yeah yeah yeah, yeah. well that's I mean, what i'm learning it worked, it worked and then it worked really ago. didn't it really it really it really work. didn't after 10 seconds <laughs> um <clears throat> okay so yes <laughs> this this is our father's opportunity are we talking about death? Can I be of assistance? <laughs> For all of you that don't know in the audience, our father runs a funeral home and, well, several funeral homes and a crematory. Ah, uh, no. Because <laughs> no one's actually dead right now. <laughs> We are looking for sponsors. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. Depends how much cash are you throwing at me? <laughs> We, we are looking for sponsors. I do need I was to buy looking, a three basic. Brought to you by Wilson's Crematorium. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for more of like a liquor sponsor, but I guess a funeral home would work too. Quarantinis, brought to you by Samaritan Funeral Home. <laughs> what a weird combo. <laughs> it seems like that would be a hard sell for anyone new. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> these, these guys seem strange. <laughs> All right, Joe, we've got twenty minutes left in our okay. in our program tonight. Brooke. Hope everyone's having a good time. It looks like people are making the cocktails, actually. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and I am surprised. I like it more without the egg. Yeah, I do too. And maybe if it, if we knew that, we could throw some extra something in there, but. Without the egg, for the first time ever, I don't like it with the egg white as much as without. Who knew? I enjoy this one. It feels like it covers the whole palette, the range of the palette. Definitely. Yeah, it's like I, I'm, I'm on board with that. It's rich, but also like I'm not feeling. It's nice and bright, citrusy. Yeah, right. You still got a good amount of bitter. The sweetness still kicks in. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, producer Joe. Uh, before we get started on the videos, we need to get our intro in. Obviously. Duh. How about you kick it off? Here we go. <laughs> Producer Joe. That's right. The best <laughs> intro for a segment ever. So good. For the one and only producer Joe. Where are you taking us tonight, producer Joe? Well, we earlier saw a pet-related video. We did. And then we'll transition into another pet-related video, but also involves the use of adult beverages. Yes, and, and some chaotic energy. Yeah, there might be. Uh, yeah. I think there's some language in this one. Oh, there is. There is some language. One, one F word used at the very beginning. Yep. I did actually so, go. I actually took, you, I, I took the okay. audio out. Just okay, in case. Okay, good, good, good. You know? Good. Yeah, I thought it. Yeah. Thank you. Of course, of course. Here Family show, everybody. Video number one. Anna, why do you have a fucking possum? Why do you have a possum? Get the shit out of here. 
Water! Oh my god! <laughs> possum. Who, who decides? What a start. <laughs> so, like, yeah. I was thinking that she, like, was intoxicated it and then like became immediately sober. <laughs> once yeah, she realized as as, yeah. that she it went, was a possum. I have a possum <clears throat> in my hands. Yeah. Do you think she just, like, was walking down the street? It's like, here's a possum. I'm guessing the possum had been playing dead out. You know, it was on the porch, and then it rolled over. And You're my friend. Now. Oh boy! I mean, I really don't like possums at all, and I don't know how many beverages I would have to have to confuse. pick up a possum with your bare hands. Yeah. Right. Um, before we move on, quick question in the chat: uh, When you show how to build the beverage on YouTube, can you place the recipes in the comment section? Uh, yes, we do put those in every uh, every one of the. Uh, descriptions so i should have i should have the ingredients for all the things this one specifically i did not put the amount of dashes of bitters because i, I just put a whole lot of bitters because in the video it says it but if i need to keep being more specific i will all right uh <laughs> amelia is letting us know that that possum is having a weird ass night <laughs> <laughs> The yeah. strange lady Ima just imagine the up. life of the possum. <laughs> yeah, we didn't go. Yeah, we didn't. I'm suddenly in a stranger's house. <laughs> right. I just took a dump on the floor. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> All right. Our uh, our next video right. is. So I guess the segue on this is it sticks with a theme of um, adult. Uh, what? Did, not it's not a beverage this time. But... Intoxication. Yeah, theme of, yeah, okay. I just thought it was funny it and, and funny. accurate. I thought I it was do. funny and accurate, and I think everyone will probably. I hope it. you enjoy this because you'll get a good laugh. That face. <laughs> That face is so That little stupid. girl's face. It's just like she's having inner the movement time of her life. <laughs> and also, it's what, so subtle. What's the song in the background? Um, Beastie Boys. Yeah, it's definitely Beastie Boys. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> and all both completely appropriate responses to listening to the Beastie Boys. Yeah, they're, they're both having a great yeah. time in their own way. Yeah. Right. <laughs> This time was cute, very cute. Uh, oh, okay. So Braden Crane is letting us know that if you put the put the ingredients list in the comment section, they could see it while they're making and watching the video. All right, that's good note. Thank good you. Note. Thank you, B. All right, ready what for the next one? Got? Yeah. Okay. Let's keep it going. So th this one, we're gonna do two videos from an account that I came across, and this guy gets sent vintage like family photos and then he'll display the photo while he gives his narration of, of the storyline wonderful yeah he's so he makes up, he a up a story line. yeah he makes Got up it. a story oh, makes, yeah okay cool yeah yeah yeah, yeah so he makes right, up so a story to an old family photo hmm? yeah th yeah yeah that dad one yeah. sure right. all right here we go they say it's never the kid's fault when a dad walks out on his family, but we're convinced crushing him under our combined weight in a failed attempt at a human pyramid didn't make him want to stay. It was Brandon's idea. Human pyramid, he asked. Mom immediately said, let's do it, child. She called us childs instead of children because she was from Tennessee. But dad, always the rational one, said, look, if this thing collapses, I'm probably not going to be sticking around this family. We thought he was kidding. He wasn't. The orthopedist told him his injuries likely occurred when the pyramid swayed and collapsed. The weight of all four of his children, nearly 350 pounds, smashing into his spine with enough force to crack three vertebrae. I'll give him this. Dad was a man of his word. <laughs> it started off kind of like, Ugh. Yeah, it starts out a little dark, but the, the idea I was trying to go with was... What's the creativity to come up with that storyline based off of that one picture? Yeah. You got to be pretty creative to come up with yeah, that. And he's dad's a man of his word. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to stick around if this goes south. <laughs> he said it. Everybody knew what was at stake when they went for the photo. And they still chose chaos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So in, in another this next one, one might be my favorite. It's of the pretty two. good. Yeah, I like. It. <laughs> yeah, that that first one was a warm up to this one. I think. You know? Yeah. Any other right. background? No, no. Same, same okay. account. Same account. So Here we go. Same idea. My sister and her friend were treats. That was what all the guys at the fire station called girls who climbed big trees on purpose just so they had to be rescued by the hot, sweaty firefighters. Oh, well, thank you so much, Mr. Farman, she would say like she's begging for candy from Olson's general store. How will I ever repay the favor? Well, taxes and a citation for improper use of government services, I'd say. But they didn't care. Our town didn't have one of them skeezy dance places where you could get down with your bad self and woo a gentleman with a hip flick. They were always so mad when I was the firefighter that rescued them. We hate you, Billy, they'd say. And I told them, what you're doing is weird and sad. But back up them trees, they'd go again and again. <laughs> That's so yeah. good. I would have we to, hate you, Billy. I'm going to take some words out of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so, we ever so detailed and creative. And treats. Like, and treats is a good genius. term. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like uncomfortable with that at first, you know, because who knows how old those two are in that photo. But then, but then he turns it to where they were, they were doing this in order to get the pl- the fireman's attention. Right. It's like, all right, so they're culpable in it, and now I can laugh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then Billy shows up. We yeah. hate you, Billy. <laughs> But back up them yeah. trees and go again and again. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <sighs> Where else are you taking good. us yeah. tonight? Sergio? Well, um, we got another one here. And the last one, I believe. Um, and, and it's a gear shift, you know, different account. You know, that was our main course we just went through there. And that now is, we're, we're on to dessert. And <laughs> this, this video, little yeah, palate cleanser for sure. I, I've had this experience many times and I felt like this young woman, um, well, she's, anyway, doesn't matter. Sorry, distracted. <laughs> young uh, woman. Works. This woman, I'm assuming, um, 2021. All right. Dude, you can't, is, no nope, okay. <laughs> So I've had the experience that she's talking about many times. I felt like she responded with the words that I never had, but they and they were like really right well. out of and it. they were I right mean, there. Yeah. yeah. So the context is like when you are talking to maybe somebody in a boomer adjacent generation sure. about how to get to their, you know, what's the address to yep, fill yep, in the blank, yep, yeah. and they give you thorough driving instructions. Right. Um when we all have smartphones um and so this is the context and um her response to that scenario i i really like so yeah my dad's like so you're just gonna take buffalo to the 215 and then no i'm gonna use google maps lewis and clark <laughs> that's it that's, that's it <laughs> <laughs> Lose one more time. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we one can more do time for good measure. Yeah. One more time for good measure. My dad's like, so you're just gonna take Buffalo to the 215, and then no, I'm gonna use Google Maps, Lewis and Clark. Clark, <laughs> I love that you ended Lewis and Clark. That was cool. Yeah. No, I'm gonna use Google Maps, Lewis and Clark. So freaking good. I mean, we talked. We we talked about. We remember printing out Google Maps. We had, we had to print no, them out. Map MapQuest. Quest. Map MapQuest. Quest. That's yeah. right. MapQuest. We had to print out the MapQuest to go to. We had to ask Jeeves, MapQuest, <laughs> MySpace. <laughs> oh, when was the last time you heard that? No. Oh, ask Jeeves. That's, that's he was the you, butler that knew everything. He yeah, was the butler. You just go onto the computer box and you type when it in. When I have to talk to anybody younger than myself, I, I have the story of when I remember when we first got internet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like in like Oregon Trail, floppy mm-hmm. disks, internet, mm-hmm. yeah. can't use the phone. Mm-hmm. And when you have to describe that to anybody that's younger than 30, yeah, what cra- they're just like, yeah. how, are you how old could you possibly be? Like, uh-huh. that's that, that I feel like that's the thought process is you have to be an ancient person in order to, like to know the when? world before the mm-hmm. internet. Before you- you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I was on a, a I was on TikTok doing research for this show. Definitely. And research. um and I came across an account that held a lot of like 90s early 2000 home videos. Yes. Perfect. And one of them was a classroom as they were hearing about 911. 
which oh, is oh my gosh, you know, I 20 saw years ago, right? Yes. Yeah. And um, and I, I was in a classroom, ninth grade. So was you I. Know, and just to see how dated, obviously, everything is and how different, right? There's, didn't you know, feel like, like it was. What, when, what do they call the uh, tube TVs, right? Like, yeah. you know, the with the curved screen. That were on screen, the metal they, carts that you had to wheel yeah. into each classroom. Or like bolted into reinforced steel to hold them up on the ceiling so or something. Heavy. Yeah, <laughs> right. But Right. My, how quickly the world changes. <laughs> so quick. And it's only changing faster and faster and faster. <sighs> and right. you know what? You know who says that? Old people. <laughs> yeah. The world's changing so fast. I got Seriously. high blood pressure. <laughs> I got, I got bronchitis. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. I didn't read nothing. Oh. <laughs> I watched that video like the other day. He peeled off the label. I did. He did. He did. Well, um, that has been uh, what's funny with producer Joe, everyone. Let's all give him a round of applause. Producer Joe. Well, everyone, it has been a wonderful evening. It has. I enjoyed the cocktail. I hope you did as well. I love. I, I'm actually a huge fan of this cocktail. Yeah, you really are. I am. I, I dig it a lot. I, I might. Um, I also dig our backdrop. This I'm backdrop so, is I'm so pumped. It's, it's, very cool. it's, it's so a good. Cool. Yeah. It's good looking backdrop. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That's our reference monitor over there for everybody. <laughs> It looks great. It looks super pro. It does. I hope it sounds okay. We'll find out if it sounds okay. We're 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 going to get a bigger sign eventually. We are. We are. Um, So before we we end the evening, we are very close to being able to open up our space to all of you for our events. We have a little bit of a test run coming up this weekend. The one and only Giggles, who's in the, the house tonight who's in the house pretty much every night. Uh, She has a birthday this weekend. I have been sworn to secrecy as to what... Today is your birthday! Oh my gosh. That just... Happy birthday to you! That took me back to hot church. (laughs) Holy crap. (laughs) I've been sworn to secrecy as to what birthday this is, Mm. so I'm not allowed to say, or I will get literally murdered to H2. So, uh, as far as anything is concerned with numbers, they don't exist. But we do get to have a little test run uh, of the space tonight, the bar, not tonight, this weekend, the bar, the space, um, all the things. And uh, we cannot wait. I mean, I'm so excited to invite all of you into the space because yeah. it's looking really good. Like, they're just, each week there's uh, pieces that come together. Mm-hmm. We got the stools. We got the stools. Should we show them the stools? We can show them the stools. stools. You show the front, I'll show the back. Okay. So these are not the right stools that I officially bought. But they're the same ones. But they're the same ones. You get the vibe. Like, (laughs) side profile. Super cool, right? Thanks, Anna. Super cool. (laughs) These two that I bought, they're a little short. They're like six inches short than I needed. So I figured, hey, we could use some for quartini chairs. But... Yeah, uh, every each week come, pieces come together, and um, we actually got <laughs> more shelves delivered today, which I'm super pumped to install tomorrow. Yep, for all of the uh, the bottles on the back bar. Yep, um, and so uh, I'm just I'm super pumped. I can't wait. I can't. I freaking can't. Wait. Yes, this wall that you're seeing behind us is in the warehouse. Yeah, so you'll be able to have a drink in front of this. You could take a selfie in front of it. Yep, I don't care. Do what you want. Um, a quick question from Brian Wilson, the lead singer of the Beach Boys. Does Giggles know who Underdog is? That will give it away. How old she is. She's not going to answer, though. Nope. She's going to stay silent. Yep. She's, she's smart enough to know to not answer that question. Whether that's true or not. But we are getting closer and closer every day, and uh, we have something very special uh, in the works as far as 
um, what's next for Quarantinis and all that kind of thing. Um, we have a private group that we're working on to invite you all into. Um, and it's looking something along the lines of a group that uh, we have that will get you access into our private events, that will get you access to private classes with the one and only Blake. Um, I probably won't be there other than to just make jokes every once in a while. I hope. But you don't want to, to learn from I mean, me. you got to be the guy drinks. that I'm, I'm, I'm serving drinks to. <laughs> Fine. I'll take that job for right, sure. Right, because I make them. <laughs> I drink them. That's how this works. But we're working on that, and we will get that out to you as soon as we can. And as soon as we do have that available, we'll let you know right here on the live stream. Literally, when I know when all pieces are coming together, not even installed, I'm going to set a date. Mm -hmm. So... It's coming at you once real soon. That, once that happens, and it, it's around the corner. And I will say, I the think. friends that we've had come into the space and kind of check it out, whatever, yeah. they're pumped. Yeah. They're very excited. Yeah. As are we. Um, yeah, we're super pumped. So, as soon as we know that information, we're waiting on the well. The well is our big piece that we're waiting on. I have some frustrations about yeah, that. We one. ordered it because they said they would come to us in less than a week. A week max. Specifically, and then, why I ordered this well. That's right. And then they emailed us and said, two days later, after the date, when I was expecting to get shipped. That's correct. Oh, it's going to be another month. That's right. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. Papa Blake's coming in close. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> 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 Papa Blake's in close. A frustrating moment. I got but <laughs> Hey. This is just a simulation, so we got time. We got all the time in the world. We're time traveling as we know it. Yeah, plus the aliens are coming, so it's not a big deal. Yeah. Anyways, we will invite you into the space as soon as we possibly can. Um, and just be on the lookout for that private group. Yes. Um, we want you all to be involved. And just so you know, and so you're preparing yourself... We are going to charge to be a part of that private group because it's going to get you access to these events. Um, so you don't have to pay extra to get into the events. It doesn't have it, you don't have to pay extra to have a uh, private class with Brother Blake here. You get a lot of things with the one like uh, kind of charge that we're going to yep. do a monthly charge. So Merch, that kind of thing. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. Every all kinds of stuff, and it's all going to be absolutely wonderful. So, yeah. with that being said, it's been another wonderful week. It has. This was enjoyable. I missed it, honestly, because last week we didn't do it, and two weeks ago it was a cluster, so yeah. I just like hanging out. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Let's cheers to that one. Cheers to you and yours. Be well. Stay humble. Mabel's going to send us out. No, we, we've got, no, we have a, a, special, a special video from oh, that's some right. friends of I'm ours. Sorry. Some friends of ours that are going to send us out. Okay. But, yes, uh, we miss Sweet Mabel. We're, I think we've, we've decided we're now on the hunt for another pooch. Brandon and I, yes, today or yesterday, spent like two hours looking at Way it. too much time. Yeah, we wasted like, a lot of time. We could have been working. Yeah. <laughs> we, like, I was watching his screen, and I was doing this, like, just scrolling. Doing my own thing. Through but pups. we were, like, scrolling through pups, and then we, like, side work for, like, maybe five minutes. Yeah. And then we go back to searching Right pups. back to searching for dogs. We'll introduce you as soon as yeah. he or she, because dogs only are he's or she's. That is, yes, that is a fact. That is a fact. <laughs> Anyways, be well. Have a great week. We are so glad to be with you once again in this fashion. Yes. And uh, give yourself grace. Yeah. Be patient. Stay humble. Again, we're still we're still in COVID. We're coming down from it, though. You know, we we are coming down from it. I'm just saying. We've also never done this thing before. That's right. All right, everybody. We love you. Love, peace, chicken grease. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Brian Wilson. That's not Brian Wilson. Is it not? No, that's the pest. Oh. That felt like dad. If, it, <laughs> if anybody knows the movie The Pest with, I do. with John Leguizimo. John Leguizimo. Love, peace, chicken grease. Love, peace, chicken grease. Peace out, everybody. Have, Have a great a night. night. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Peace. Look around. Everywhere you turn is hot.
It's everywhere that you go. Look around, you try. Everything you can do is the pain of life that you know. When all else fails and you long to be something better than you are today. Drop, but not too sweet. Like that's the worst thing that you can say to a bartender. Look, oh, listen. Papa, Papa Blake's coming in close. You see a bartender that's busy? You know what you're gonna order? But when you're ready, you're ready. Don't sit there and go. Um, or this know. thing will come out again, <laughs> and it'll just slowly, slowly push into your abdomen. I totally spaced running through the Rolodex of my brain. Ooh, don't use that word. That makes you old. Oh, you got them roller decks right there. <laughs> All new world, a dazzling place I, I never knew. Can you hear the harmony? There's crystal things now I'm in a whole new world. Now I'm in a whole new world. 